Hey Cuisine Sirs, welcome back to Zine Cuisine. So today we have a special guest. We have Sonic the Hedgehog. What's up? And Sonic today is going to be doing a special episode where we're going to talk about Sonic zines. I got two Woo. special Sonic zines. One from England, which is really cool. And one we bought in a... Um, actually funded the Trevor Project and had a lot of like co-friends so I'm really excited about that too and it was a result printed so we're gonna get into that and we'll do a little uh overview as well and now uh, let's get to it I'm first gonna ask Sonic some questions because Sonic is also a cuisine sir so Sonic do you like zines well I mean I didn't really know what zines were until this episode and they're pretty lit they I are mean, lit. It's yeah. a little it's a little comic book. How can you go wrong? Right? And they could be about anything. Um they could be about personal experiences. They could be about comics. They can be about how to do something. So zines are completely awesome and Sonic gives you the thumbs up for zines. So Sonic also, is Also, I'm a fast reader and these are pretty fast to read, so that's a good, that's a plus, that's a plus. Most definitely. So first we're going to, we're going to just go ahead and dive right into it. Um, first one we're going to do, it was the one that was sent to, sent to us um, by Rage. Um, that's Prince Rage Productions. And this was a special one called Sonic Speed Art Zane, issue one. This one's really cool. Sonic, give us your, give us your um, little... A rundown of it? Leave it just give us a, a fast rundown. Because well, you're Sonic. Running, so I think I can do a pretty good rundown. Well, off the bat, the um, the cover of it is my faker skirt, so I don't <laughs> know how to feel about that. <coughs> now inside, there's a lot of cool art in here. Some of it's of me, and that's probably the coolest parts of it. Um, there's a couple of um, couple of my friends that are drawn in it, and in the back there's Shadow, being edgy as per usual, but got some pretty cool art in it and I really like this one and it's nice and tiny so you can just look at art whatever you want to just you know put it in your your own glove because I don't have pockets all right so um this one for all you zinesters out there that know um this one I thought at first was going to be a one page zine and I think it is actually but she um they pasted it which is really cool because it gives a little more permanence and it's full color um, it looks like it was um, printed using inkjet, which is really cool because the colors are super vibrant and it's really neat. And I love in the back you guys shadow the hedgehog. Um, Another one of my fakers. Oh, fakers. Okay, so after that one, that one was like, it took a while to get here because it took a while to get from the UK. Which, mm -hmm. right now with the coronavirus. Yeah. Um, everything if from overseas is taking a little bit longer to get to places. So if you did order something from a zinester, which we fully encourage buying zines from zinesters, please do. All of our zine fests are canceled. Um, <laughs> we need all the help we can get. Yeah. Um, so if you get something from overseas, just know that it's going to take probably up to about a month to get there from japan and south korea it might take longer so um that was cool um the next one we got was one that um is fully rizzo printed and you know here at zine cuisine we love our rizzo graph and this is sonic heaven sonic fanzine it's really cool boop jazz hands <laughs> jazz hands <laughs> and um one thing I liked about it was that a lot of friends are in this. Um, A.T. Pratt, um, let's see who else do I know in here. Um, A.T. Pratt I met at SPX and I think you did too, Sonic. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, we also got Sage Coffee, which we love some Sage. Wine Ghost is lit. And I think there's a couple other I have met, but I just don't exactly remember like meeting I've met a lot um so um what's really cool about this full cover full Rizzo print um inside is also Rizzo printed but it's blue like a bluish on um pink paper which is, is really cool I never really thought about that whole different tone on tone I've seen tone on tone but you know and also said this a really cool postcard um art print of Sonic and we'll get to see everything a lot more closer in a second 
and also a sticker which this looks kind of like something that um i'm wondering and i'm gonna find out real quick rogue the bat sticker um is my dolman and i it's really cool because i love the wings it's yeah, really actually it's rouge and also I oh keep not rogue because you know x-men fan i kind of go right for that yeah but i, I want to keep her around your um chaos emeralds she likes to uh steal them sometimes well that's not good so sonic yeah, you got a good. chance to look at sonic heaven um tell me what you think all right well this cover looks pretty trippy am i right it looks pretty cool and the back also has some cool art of some of my friends and this thing is surprisingly thick. This has a lot of pages to it and a lot of different individual comics. And it's it's on this pink paper with this blue on it and I really appreciate that. That looks really cool. And going through it, there's a lot of comics of me, a lot of comics of my buddies, a couple of Eggman. Eh, not really my favorite character, am I right? But hey, it's a pretty cool comic and I just highly suggest this one. It's a bit bigger than the other one though. I mean, that isn't a bad thing, but yeah, it's pretty lit. Yeah, pretty cool. And they also sent us some other stuff, some more stickers and another zine as well, which, um, thank you, Henry. You're awesome. Um, now we did, usually everybody sends us in zines, which is great and we love it. And if you want to send zines in, please hit us up. Um, but this one, because it did fund a, I believe it was the Trevor Project, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we, and it was a charity zine, we paid for it because, you know, charity zines are, the money goes to charity. It's really cool. Um, so that was really neat. Um, I completely love this. I mean, this was just a really cool piece. And you know what? Because of this, all these Sonic zines. Sonic zines are going to Sonic, so Sonic can start Sonic's own zine collection. Yep. Um, so if you have any other Sonic zines you want to see Sonic back on, hey, cool, let's do it. Oh, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to look a little more deep, um, in depth into the zines, and uh, we'll see you in a few seconds. We have Sonic Heaven, um, which was the one we are talking about with the Rizzo print, and you know we love some Rizzo here. So this was really cool. Let's take a little in-depth look at this really pretty the colors I don't know if you can see and the half toning is just complete bay I love it so much it is so pretty um, it looks like they use some of the classic blue um, with some it looks like probably that neon pink some of the green and yellow I think those are the main colors so it's really neat uh, I love it inside they kind of took uh, and just did a single color on the inside because, you know, if you use too much ink with Rizzo, it ends up, you know, smearing and getting weird and stuff. So, inside we got, you can see a Sonic Youth. That's funny. So, if you're not Gen X or you're not really into music, Sonic Youth is also a band. And <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Um, Henry Guerrera is really awesome. Look, there's the Eggman one. Um, so, this is the Contributors. And I want you to definitely look all these guys up, guys and gals and otherwise, because there is some really cool people that got to be part of this. H.T. Pratt, which we're going to be doing a feature on soon, is, um, man, A.T. does these really cool zines that are just, I can't even, like, tell you how awesome they are. They have, like, little windows and pockets, so... AT is really cool. And um, some good stories here. I don't even know what's happening in some of these. I still haven't figured it out. But um, it's really cool. So if you want to, I'm going to put the link for you to get one of these. Because it's it's just really cool. If you like, oh, here we go. Check this out. If you love Sonic, and this is one of Sonic's favorites. Sonic likes to protect friends, eat rings, conspiracy theories, what? <laughs> I mean, this is kind of great. Um, they know. also send us this really cool postcard, which, I don't know if you can see, uh, has some really cool in-depth pictures. It's like a whole like world from playing Sonic, which is really neat. And a neat sticker, too, which is Rouge, not Rogue. 
because some of us still think of that spelling and think, you know, X-Men and stuff because, you know, we're old and lame. <laughs> um, Sonic Speed was really cool too. It is an eight page that they kind of, one page, um, eight fold that they cut and they actually did like pasted. So it's more booky, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's some really neat pictures. It's more of like a, a little picture zine, which is really cool. This is one we got from England and, um, it was totally worth the wait. And, uh, okay, Metal Sonk, what? It's Sonic. You didn't see it. It says Sonk. No, it says Sonk. S oh, no, it is. Oh, it looks like a K. All right. So, over here, we got, like, you know, Metal Sonic. Gotta go fast. I mean, it's a really cool Blaze Silver. Um, really good art. Like, really good fan art. And I love this wistful, crying Sonic. What is... Is that Sonic? That's it's Sonic. Right? That's Sonic right there, though. That's Shadow. That's... Look. look That's at, Sonic. Look at... You're worse than Amy Rose. There's... Well, I'm terrible. Okay, anyway. <laughs> and we have um, Shadow the Hedgehog here who is crying for some who knows reason. Maria. Probably because, you know, he's like all emo and he's stuff. He's angsting. He's angsty and stuff. And he's sitting on the edge, which is not... Do not do this, people. Do not sit That's on the no edge good. of a building. That is no good. Sonic just said... That's no that good. That is no good to sit on the edge of a table. Because you know what's going to happen on the edge of... It's to sit on the edge of a building. Because you know what's going to happen? You're not Sonic. You're going to fall. And that's not good. So, um, major thanks. This is issue one. I'm hoping that they do more. Because um, this is beautiful. Um, big thanks. It's set in this really cool. Like, I had no idea what was going on. I'm like, what is this card? And I was like, oh, thank you, Rage. Rage even drew a little Sonic. Look at a little Sonic. Go fast. So, that's what we got. Um, if you have any other Sonic scenes, or you know of any more Sonic scenes, send them to us, please. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that was um, a little in-depth look. I hope you liked it. Big thanks to Sonic here, who made time out of his hugely busy schedule. Yeah, pretty busy. A lot of um, laying around doing nothing and eating chili dogs, really. Well, you know, that's something. And that's yeah. a job, right? Eating chili dogs. And yeah. um, Mr. Chompy just wants to say, thank you. Nice. Yeah, I know. Mr. Chompy is, you know, pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, thanks for coming again, Zine Cuisinesters. Um, Any PSA that Sonic wants to leave? Like a Sonic says? Sure. Sonic says recycle all of your paper scraps so that way there's no waste. That's what we believe in at Zine Cuisine. So, from everybody here at Zine Cuisine, um, I am Chris. This is Sonic. And yep. Sonic keep on being off. your awesome cuisine to yourself. Make zines. Even if they're about nothing, you know, nobody else is going to see them. Why not? Stay tuned for all the PSAs at the end. And if you need anything else you want me to put on there, please email me. The email is right there in the uh, PSA and also below in the comments. All right, have a good one and bon appetit.